Mason Street now, and Ken was in big trouble with Stephanie Beecham. Yeah, after he fessed up that he's married. Don't Steph watch Coronation Street or something. <laughs> Deirdre's still in the dark. Yes, fortunately for Ken, the only witness was the dog. This place is sacred to me. Yeah. It's a wife-free zone. The time we've spent together talking, not talking, it's perfect. It's a big, fat lie. Real and important. So Deirdre thinks you're walking the dog? Don't rope me in. <laughs> <laughs> Eileen's dad was busy reminiscing about a day of the races. I met that Franky de Tory once. He's only about yay high. Rest a pint on his head. Yeah, they are small, those jockeys. Oh. Cheers. Mm. 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 Actually, I, I wouldn't mind some. Um, uh... Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Ciao, Frankie. Yeah. Julie from the factory was having relationship problems. I'm just treading water, biding me time until I, I... Oh, don't get me wrong, he's a lovely kid. But he's a kid all the same, and... And I think I need a man. You're in luck, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Now, last week we featured EastEnders' new character, Bold Headed Girl. Right, let's set the uh, table. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and not to be outdone, Corrie have introduced a new character of their own, Cushion Headed Boy. You've just got to get on with it. You've got mates. What are you? Doing? <laughs> now, I like Cushion Headed Boy, <laughs> and I like Bold Headed Girl, but. Which is better? There's only one way to find out. <laughs> See you after the break. Go on.